Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create cinema-like transitions in PowerPoint. The beautiful cinema-like transitions you will learn to create today looks like this. And then on a click, the caption goes out like this. <laughs> Awesome, isn't it? So this is the transition you will learn how to create. You might have seen such effects in movies where they introduce places. For example, when they want to introduce Miami, they have the word Miami written on the screen and then you have the beach at the background and then the word expands to dissolve into the background scene. That is what we're going to do now and let us see how easy it is to create this effect from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle that spans the entire slide area like this. Then let me go to Shape Outline and say No Outline and give it a black color like so. Then let us pick up the text box tool and let us write the word that we want to have the animation for or the transition for. In this case, I'm going to use the word called beach and let me choose a really thick font. Maybe we can choose something like Arial Black and we can increase the size really, really large. Maybe I can change the text color to white so that you can clearly see what's written and I'm going to increase this substantially. Yeah, this is a good enough size. Now I'm going to keep the text box smack in the center on this slide. So for that I'm going to go to Arrange, Align and say Align Center. Then Arrange, Align and say Align Middle. Now this text is right in the middle of this shape. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select the shape at the background first. So I'm going to click on this black rectangle, hold the Shift button down as I select the text box and then go to the Format tab in PowerPoint Ribbon, go to Merge Shapes and say Shape Subtract. Now if you see, there is a hole that is punched on this black rectangle in the shape of the text we have written. Now that is step number one. The second step is to insert a video clip that will serve as the background. My favorite place to go for free video clips is pixabay.com and I searched for an image for beach and I got this beautiful video and I'm going to use this video as the background. Once you have the right video selected, you can always click on the free download. Of course, you can always play the video so that you can see if the video is to your liking. And once you're happy with it, click on the free download option. And when you do, you have various options available for you to download. I prefer to use something like say 1920 by 1080 because that is the kind of resolution that I'm quite happy with. And once you've finished downloading, and I've got the download here. I'm going to right click and copy this thing and then go to the page here and I'm going to paste it. Now this is the size of the video. I'm going to place this so that it corresponds with the top left corner of the slide. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I click and drag from the bottom right corner so that I have this video spanning across the entire slide area. Now, there are a couple of things I want to change here in terms of the way this video would play. Let me go to the playback option, which is one of the contextual tabs in PowerPoint ribbon. And here I'm going to check the option for start. It is not going to be in click sequence. It is going to be automatically. So this video clip will start automatically when the slideshow mode is on. And then I'm going to have it loop until stopped. So that is the other option that I want to check. And now this is beautiful. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this one and say send to back. Now we have this beautiful beach at the background. And now let us see the slideshow mode. You can see that we have this hole in the shape of beach. And you can see that the video is playing automatically and it'll keep on looping till the time we go to the next slide. Now the second part of this project is finished. Now let us go to the third part, which is to create the beautiful transition effect. For that, I'm going to select this black rectangle with this uh, hole punched in the middle. Let me go to the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon and go to one of the emphasis animations. And the one that I want is grow shrink animation. So that is how the animation is going to play this entire black rectangle with the hole punched is growing. Now let us go to the animation pane and let us make some change. 
Let us go to the small arrow on the right hand corner and then go to effect options and let us increase the size of this growth to around 1500%. So I'm going to go here and say custom and I'm going to say 1500% growth. So that means this thing really is going to expand and I'm going to say OK. So that is how it's going to be exactly the way we want it. And then I'm going to add another animation to the same rectangle. I'm going to select this, go to add animation and this time I'm going to say exit animation fade. So fade exit animation is going to happen where this rectangle will fade away. Now this is supposed to be with previous that is while the expansion is happening this fade needs to happen only that there is a bit of a delay. If you remember the previous one is for two seconds the duration for the previous animation which is the growth animation is for two seconds so we are going to add a delay of one and a half seconds for this fade animation because the duration itself is only 0.5 seconds so I'm going to increase this to say one and a half seconds and now as you can see this shape grows to 1500 percent for almost one and a half seconds and in the last 0.5 seconds it fades away. So that is what is the animation all about. Now let us go to the slideshow and here you can see that we introduce the name and then on hitting enter you can see that the shape grows and then fades away and revealing the background. So that is the beautiful cinema-like transition in PowerPoint. If you like the lesson that I just showed you then you will really like the options available in our PowerPoint training courses. To access our PowerPoint training courses, you go to presentationprocess.com, go to the PowerPoint training courses option and that will take you to this page where all the courses are listed. You can see that we have a whole bunch of really creative PowerPoint training courses available here. And if you want to have an all access pass, then you can go for Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, which is a monthly membership program. You can click on the link here to know more about this program. I'll also leave a link in the description box below the video so you can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. If you're someone who is interested in improving your PowerPoint skills, then I highly recommend that you check out this page. And finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You'll be the first to hear about any new product we introduce. You'll be the first one to get our free giveaways. You will also get access to our free email courses, which we create from time to time. And more importantly, we provide product offers and discounts only to our email subscribers. So if you want to improve your PowerPoint game, click on the link here. Join our free newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. I'll see you in the next video.